Hey there, so today we have another review. This is your courtesy of Dave. Thank you so much for sending this one out. This is Goose Island's Bourbon County Double Barrel. So, uh, Tulsa Barrel Edition. Uh, this is a two year old Bourbon County. First year spent in Elijah Craig small batch barrels, and then the second year it's spent in um, Elijah Craig toasted barrels. So, the toasted barrels are not, I guess, alligator charred like standard uh, bourbon barrels. Uh, which really uh, pronounce the kind of like char notes, uh, vanilla, uh, lactones that are in um, regular burn barrels. This is just heavily, heavily, heavily toasted. So less charred, more toasted. Uh, this beer with that age comes in at 16%. So arguably the biggest Bourbon County I've come across because the more aging, more um, microoxidation, also just more just like angel share. <laughs> Some of the product, I guess, has to be leaving the barrel. Um, or some, some, yeah, some water has to be driving off out of the barrel, so uh, higher alcohol. Uh, beer pours out pretty much like Bourbon County. I do have it a little chilled, uh, really wonderful, kind of like, um, I think, I, I mean, maybe I just have a little bit cold, but I don't see the coating is heavy. The carbonation is really, like, distinct, though, on this guy. That's obviously pitch black. I smell Bourbon County, but it's also really charry. I don't have a little cold, but I mean, it smells like Bourbon County, just a little bit sharper. It has, it, it seems, I mean, I guess it's spent twice the amount of time in uh, <laughs> bourbon barrels. It just seems like it has more wood, char, bourbon. Um, it's sharper, it's spicier, it's charrier, it's smokier. It's, well, not literally smoke like scotch, but yeah. It's got more of that kind of like meaty flavor too, the umami. Underneath is a really nice kind of like dark fruit, blueberries, ra uh, raisin. It smells really nice. I mean, that's just bourbon county. Oh yeah, interesting. So it is bourbon county still. I mean, it's bourbon county that sat in barrels for two years, basically. The pick of the barrels is what makes this important and different. Up front, vanilla laden. Rich chocolate cake notes of Bourbon County. Not as espresso driven as I get from the beer sometimes. Quite chocolatey, a lot of chocolate cake notes. Uh, a little bit marshmallowy. Lots of bourbon driving through. The one thing I do notice is that maybe the toasty oak character is what I noticed. It just has this kind of um, almost like eucalyptus uh, woody character. I guess it's maybe the oak. It has this like... Hmm. Maybe not eucalyptus. Maybe I'm thinking of buttery, but not in like diacetyl is a problem. But like, there's a different oak texture, different from bourbon barrel, which is char, <laughs> bourbon, sharp, vanilla, like like heavy. It, it, it's it, you know, and here it seems to have another level of like um, I would call it buttery. It's like a thickness that sort of just like lays from the from the oak. Maybe I don't know. Try again. Bourbon County, chocolate, dark fruit, raisins, prunes, chewy, cocoa, dark, vanilla. It's just a little bit more, I, I would argue just a little bit more woody. Uh, the tannin of the wood is lengthy, almost like, like wine tannin. I mean, it's Broome County. It's boozy too. That one percent, I don't think is extremely noticeable, but it is uh, does have an. I mean, warmth. I mean, you're sitting anywhere from fourteen point five to sixteen percent. It's going to be a big warming beer. Is it hugely ethanol-y because of that one uh, percent or one half percent more? I think you might be able to notice a little bit more alcohol in it. I mean, in the end, this still just very much um, standard Broome County in my mind, uh, like. Full wine, like man, you'd have to have a very fine bourbon county palate, in my opinion. I mean, if I could really distinctly tell you the differences, I feel like I'd be lying. It's a very good vintage of bourbon county. Um, 
it may or may not, as it warms up for me, get more woodsy and bourbony, or more bourbon forward, or just like more oak forward. To me, it's probably just a boozy, thinner bourbon county. Yeah. Less wholesome and complete, like this new vintage that really had, well, oh, now it's boozier. Um, that had this really nice kind of pretty elegance to it with a huge amount of dark fruit. Um, I think actually just Bourbon County sort of ends up tasting like this. Like, geez, I want to think like it, there's a really sweet spot for me at like three, four years. I think we're going to get to five, four or five maybe that it ends up like a little bit like disjointed. Like it's more beer and barrel and not in a bad way, still Bourbon County. But it, this is sort of what I get a little bit. It, it, it's got a bombastic booziness and barrel character on the finish. And still very much that boozy or that uh, chocolatey, rich chocolate cake, um, rich dark fruit, brim candy up front. So you're somewhere there. If you like those lengthy vintages, like past four or five years, you're there with that. Because it definitely is, I, I think, maybe a little bit more disjointed of a beer. But that, as I, as I um, called earlier, I do get more of that kind of like really nice kind of caramely, it might be not butter, like this caramely tone that plays into the, the barrel, that's really nice. Anyway, um, very delicious. Let's go with the solid. All right, just as good. I mean, 100 out of 100, is, it's, it's, it's Burma County. Um, whether, it's, whether it's worth the, I think it's a $67, at least $60, a $60 um, price tag on this and with a fancy thing and this and that, there's no way. I mean, I would easily take five bottles or four bottles of regular Burma County. I mean, it's, it's you know, come on. But it is uh, slightly different, maybe. Very tasty. Until next time, guys. Cheers later.